In this lesson, we're going to be discussing scopes. And in the previous video, you might have noticed that I made reference to the global keyword. And that's the first one that we are going to be covering. So let's just start with an example of how we can use this. So first, we're going to create a function that's called add one. And inside here, we're going to create a variable that's called number. And that's going to equal zero then each time we call this, we want to increment it by one. So it's going to be plus equals one. And then we want to print the number so we can see the result. Now the effect we want to get is each time we call this function, we want it to add one to the total. But as you might have guessed it, the problem with this approach is that each time we call the function, it sets number to zero and then it prints one and it does that three times. So it never updates a variable that can hold everything. And you might be thinking, why don't we just go ahead and place number out here? And this will lead to a problem with scopes because right now this number is scoped inside the function, which means it can't really see what's happening out here. And one way to fix this is to use the global keyword. The global keyword just says, hey, there's a variable outside of this function inside main.py and we want to use it inside here. So now the program inside this function is going to know that we are referencing this one over here. So each time we call this, it's going to add one number to the total, it's going to update it, and it's going to add one number to the total again. You might be asking, well, when we did the while true loop, we could easily just access the number by typing in number like that. And that's true because this is a different scenario. This is considered to be part of the same block, essentially the same part of the script, but it is quite different when you create a function. That's why we need to include the global number. Otherwise we can create the same variable inside as I showed you earlier. And this one is going to be completely different than the one we created over here, because this is actually considered a local variable. And I'm going to go ahead and create an example of that. So we're going to go ahead and create text that says, hello. Then down here, we're going to create a function that says do something. And inside here, we're going to create a local variable, which is also called text. And we're just going to type inside here, do something. So we can tell it comes from this function. Now, when we go ahead and print the text, you're going to notice it's going to highlight this one immediately because we are referring to this local variable. Now we can go and call the function. And when we call it, it's going to say do something. But funny enough, if we go ahead and print the text, we're going to get hello, because this remains unaffected. This is a global variable. And this will be used as soon as we get out of the function. If we wanted to change this text, we would have to go ahead and type in global text. And now we can edit it. And you'll see that when we print it, it's going to print do something both times, because this time we managed to actually access this one and change it from within here. But again, without that, this becomes a local variable and will only be applied to within this block. And one more thing to mention is that Python executes code one line at a time. So it's also important that you define the function before you use it, because right here, you need to consider this a timeline. So first we created text and then time passed and we tried to use a function that we did not create yet. So of course we need to move do something ahead of the actual function call. And then we can use everything perfectly. But that just about concludes this scope video. In the next lesson, we're going to go over packages and imports so we can use some custom and pre-made functions that are not part of Python.